Good morning. This is the Great Basin Prescribed Fire Briefing for Wednesday, April 3rd. On the weather map, you can see some burn projects here in the purple starting to open up across the region. Uh, precipitation the past seven days, uh, quite a bit of wetness. Uh, you can see through here the green to dark green is a half inch to uh, an inch and a half of precipitation, and some of it in the high elevations was in the form of snow. You can see the snowpack very healthy across the southern half of the geographic area. What we would expect normally with a with a strong El Nino, with the heavy precipitation in the south, and you see the snowpack tapering off significantly as we go uh, from south to north through Idaho and Wyoming. Uh, hundred hour fuels though moist in all areas, including the north, uh, where they've had the most recent uh, precipitation and high humidity, and uh, starting to dry out a little bit in the far south, but still quite benign. On the upper air map on the left, you can see this drier, tannish air master and build in. So sunshine, clear skies, much warmer temperatures for just about the entire region. Another trough of low pressure uh, across the Pacific Northwest. This one looks like it's uh, going to be approaching and changing our weather for the weekend, but until then, it looks nice. Excellent overall dispersion on the right hand side, especially areas in the white and even in the yellow. Uh, you can see the relative humidity uh, quite high in the north with the approach of that trough uh, anywhere from like in the 40s to near 70 percent but very dry or at least seasonably dry as you head further south the winds trans uh, these are surface winds on the left picking up ahead of the next storm system here across northwest nevada transport winds show that even more accentuated vertical mixing heights yellows to oranges and reds indicate several thousand feet above ground level is as high as the smoke will go and then looking at uh, tomorrow, you can see this trough of low pressure drops quite a bit further south. Uh, the moisture areas in the green start pushing into a good portion of uh, northern Nevada, much of Idaho, still drying the eastern Great Basin, excellent overall dispersion. You can see the um, relative humidity on the right hand side, lowest in the southeast, near single digits. So things will be drying out quite a bit. We'll start getting the green grass uh, growing. Um, but the further west and north you go, the higher the humidity will get as the precipitation approaches. Very strong surface winds here. Orange to purples indicate anywhere winds of 30 to 40 miles per hour at the surface. And transport level, and this is also analogous to wind gusts, you can see those transport winds 50 to near 60 miles an hour across a good portion of Nevada into western Utah. So definitely the winds will be picking up way out of prescription. Excellent uh, overall mixing heights. And this trough of low pressure is over the entire area on Friday. Uh, you'll see the solid green areas is where the best chances of, of steady precipitation are. But this entire area in the black will probably produce some sort of spotty precipitation. And as usual, under low pressure, excellent overall ventilation. Almost all areas in the white. Humidity. Uh, anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 percent in the far south but increasing as you go further north and you can see the uh, surface winds strongest this point uh, in eastern portions of the Great Basin eastern Utah surface winds themselves 30 to 40 miles an hour and at the transport level that means uh, gusts of uh, 50 or more uh, in the eastern Great Basin um, looking further to the west, the winds start tapering off a little bit, but a windy day everywhere. Good mixing heights. Three-day precipitation totals. You can see strongest uh, amounts of precipitation areas in the blue, anywhere from a half inch to an inch and a half. Western and northern portions of the Great Basin tapers off a little bit as you head further south and east. On Saturday, it looks like some potential drying in the south, but still some waves of moisture in the north. Excellent dispersion. Uh, more moisture heads down into central and, and eastern areas of the Great Basin on Sunday. Another large area of moisture approaching the Pacific Northwest. That's going to push into northern areas of the Great Basin, uh, more into Idaho starting Monday and maybe into parts of northwest Nevada on Tuesday. Uh, we'll monitor that, but looks like the southern half of the region should be spared. Uh, precipitation, these are days four and five, Saturday th uh, through, through Monday morning. And then this is as things dry out Monday through Wednesday next week. Uh, seven day precipitation totals shown here. And the eight to 14 day outlook shows a return to spring above to much above normal temperatures expected across the Great Basin and also a drier than normal signal. This concludes our briefing. Have a great day.